Hi, I'm George Lynch with Legendary Gear. This is a quick video uh, to show you how to run our Predator calls. This is what we call the open reed. These are CNC machined out of Delrin. We have what we call the Fur Reaper 1 and the Fur Reaper 2. With the Fur Reaper 1, you'll see a narrow reed. It's going to be more of the cottontail. The wider reed is going to be for a louder, more of a rabbit squeal, but kind of the jackrabbit. You also can get a howl on it. Uh, but on this packaging, as you notice, as you get this package, as you open up, you'll see inside here that we have a call-in description. A little bit of instructional, uh, just how, basically how to hold call, how to place it in your mouth. I'm going to give you a quick little video here how to run the call. And with that, one of the things that uh, common mistakes guys do, we're going to start out with the Fur Reaper 1. It says the FR1. We're going to start out, the common mistake a lot of guys as they start out is they like to bite down on that soundboard in the reed. You don't want to bite down. What I like to do is I place this on top of my bottom lip. Kind of like if you were smoking a cigarette. Top lip puts, what the top lip is doing is putting pressure on that reed. Now once the pressure is put there, I'm putting... I'm going to start adding air to that. And, and as you increase the air, it gives the higher pitch. So to get that little rabbit squealing. Biting down. Now, the further back I place my lip, the higher the pitch, the closer that you come to that wedge, the deeper the pitch can be. And you can slide that. And once you get the use to that and practice with that, you'll be able to get the different sound pitches. You can start from, start from high and get to the deeper, back to high and get to the squeal. Uh, this is great to use in conjunction if you use an automatic collar. Uh, a lot of times I'll have this on my neck. It works a lot of times. If we shoot a dog off the collar and the collar is, you know, it's running between sequences. If you have a second dog and the dog is, is running off, I've used this right here. And that right there, that high pitch, it carries a long distance and stop that second dog for a shot. Now... I'm gonna introduce you what we call the FR2. You see that has a wider reed. That's gonna be louder, give a higher pitch. It's gonna take just a tad more air. But the cool thing about this, I'll carry both of these. Now today we don't have much of a wind, so the FR1 is gonna be plenty uh, high pitch and loud enough to carry for a good two to 300 yards, maybe 400 yards that they'll be able to hear this. But on a strong windy day, I like to carry this and it's just gonna carry Again, bottom lip is there, top lip is touching. I'm not putting any teeth marks on that. I'm using the pressure from this lip, top lip, along with my air. Now, see, I'm gonna bite down on that lip a little more to get a little higher pitch, watch this. Very easy to use. They're very, um, very effective in the field. Um, you can get a howl off this right here, and a lot of times I'll carry this. Um, if I see a dog out there, I think I'm just walking up on a, we have a wood patch right here, and I'm coming up late evening. Now, it takes a lot more practice with trying to get the, the bark howl that a coyote does, but you can get this, and I'm just basically... <laughs> sound <laughs> wait to hear a dog but that sound carries for a long ways um great to use if you don't have your electric collar and you're say we're working out here i'll carry my 
predator calls, even when I'm goose hunting, um, deer hunting. There's a lot of times when we're in these goose spreads out in these fields, we'll see coyotes working. Man, pick up that little FR1 and FR2 and just kind of that dog you might be able to bring for two to three hundred yards. One other thing I want to point out here, if you notice on these calls, that we have two small holes there at the end of the call. Works great. You can uh, buy snap hooks, even like the swivel hooks that uh, they use for fishing. You can tie that onto your lanyard uh, string. You can hook that on to carry. Or I've seen guys take thin parachute cord and run through there. You can tie them together, make a long necklace, and it's just good to hang around your neck. I have them. I keep them even when I'm using an electric collar. I've always got them right there, quick to grab and easy to use. For more information, go to our website, legendarygearusa.com, and we'll have more videos on there for more on the Predator Call.